Hello! Welcome to Knot Tying. So, today we're going to be doing a couple different things. First, I'm going to start with some rope care and handling. So I have with me um, 75 feet of paracord, white paracord rope. That's a good, um, strong and cheap rope. Um, you can get it off Amazon if you don't want to go to a store, and then many, many stores have it. Um, craft stores, um, outside supply stores. So I have a couple different lengths of this rope. This one right here is about two, two and a half feet long. That's where I'm gonna show you the first knot. And then I have a longer piece, eight to 10 feet long, um, where I'm going to be showing you how to use this knot. So the first knot we're going to um, use is called a clove hitch. So now when I, when I cut these pieces, um, I cut them with a scissor and then I use a lighter to melt the ends a little bit so they don't fray. A fraying rope um, is never a good thing because that weakens the strength of your rope. Um, so you can ask a parent, grandparent, guardian, or anyone um, of adult age to help you and you can just run a lighter over the end, just like that. And then the, um, the paracord is made of woven soft plastic so it'll melt and then once it once it has cooled down um it'll form a tight non-fraying bond at the end of your rope right there so this knot the clove hitch is a great knot um especially for building structures and that's one of the things i'm going to be doing um is building survival st structures um and shelters in a couple days here um so i'm going to use this knot the clove hitch in my lashings um, and I will explain that once I've finished the clove hitch so to start the clove hitch you can get a rod or a stick um, it doesn't need to be a foot long um, you can have it however long you want um, and I'm going to start by draping my um, my rope over the rod next I'm going to take the end away from me and pass it over once and on the way back, I'm going to cross it over the rope that's already on there, so it forms an X, just like that. And I'm going to hold on to um, the, part, the part that I'm working on. So then I'm going to take the same, the same end and pass it under one more time. But this time, I'm going to pass it, if I'm looking at it, to the right side of the other hanging rope. So it looks like this, facing you. So this is the one that I just passed over or under again. So now that I did that, I'm going to take this that I've been working with the whole time and right where the X is, I'm going to pass my rope through the X. So it's going to go under both sides of the X like that and come all the way through. So I went around and then through the X. And if you tighten it, it should look like that, with two ends coming out that way. Now I'm going to do this one more time, draping it over, and I'm going to use my longer one this time. So I'm going to have one end be the end that I'm working with. I'm gonna give myself hmm, about a foot or eight, um, eight to 10 inches of working width here. So I'm going to Drape it over with the short end facing away from me. And I'm going to bring it back towards me and cross over. So it's going to be on the other side. And you can see that X. Now I'm going to bring it around again and under the X. Just like that. I'm going to pull that through. So now we are tight. And a great thing about the clove hitch is that it doesn't move around too much. These are very um, smooth rods, so it's gonna slip a little bit if I move it, but it shouldn't slip too much, especially if it's very tight. Because the one that's on top there, that holds everything in place. That's part of the X that I went under. All right, so just so it doesn't unravel, I like to tie just 
a um, overhand knot on top just to keep things in place there. Um, that's just how you first tie your shoes when you're about to do the bow. This is the first part of tying your shoes. That just keeps everything settled down nicely. Um, so then for a lashing, that's the second part of the video. Um, the purpose of a lash is to form two, um, or form a bond between two sticks or two poles or whatever you're um, using the, the knot on. So I like to put um, my stick above or below my clove hitch and that'll keep it from moving too much. So a lashing is great for holding sticks together and it's very strong. So I'm going to do a square lash so I'm going to take the long end and I'm going to wrap it up and around back towards me. Now, if this is facing you, oops, dropped it there. So I put it around, then I'm going to pass it on this side and back down. So it should look like that. Then I'm going to do the same thing Pass it around and back up. So I'm going to have two on this side and one on this side. Then I'm going to pass it back around again and over. So I'll, I'll have two on both sides. Then next, I'm going to pass it back up around on this side this time and across the top. Then I'm going to bring it down, around, and up. Now the knot is starting to take hold and be very strong. And I'm just going to pass it around a couple more times. And it doesn't matter where you do these, it's just good to do as many times as you have rope for, which I have a bit left, um, to make it as strong as you can. So now I have a couple more feet of rope, but I'm going to um, sort of finish my knot. So I'm going to take the end that I'm working with, I'm going to pass it um, around the knot, like we were doing. But this time, I'm going to engulf the entire middle, so where the sticks connect, I'm going to pass it around the middle, just like that. And I'm going to be tightening as I go. And that keeps it steady and strong. So now I have about a foot left of my rope. I'm going to tighten one more time. And then I'm going to, on the top this time, because I um, placed this one on the bottom, um, I mean, on the, of the top of the, the clove hitch. So the clove hitch is on this side underneath the lashing. I'm going to place this on the top above the other stick, and I'm going to do another clove hitch. I'm going to put it a little bit farther away from the lash so you can see. So I pass it under, make an X, with my X, and then back around, and through the X. And that will cement everything in place, make sure it doesn't slip around, tightening it off there. And there you go, there is your square lash and two clove hitches. So this is a great way to, I can barely bend it. Great way to um, hold two sticks together. And I'm going to be using this in the shelter video in a few days. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching.